Hi guys, I'm Tanya and welcome to my YouTube. Um, today I'm doing something which is intense. <laughs> um, I, I always talk about movies which are super intense. So I thought of making a video on intense movies. These movies are not thriller movies but are serious movies. I don't recommend you to watch this with your family if you're looking for some movies which are fun and entertaining. But if you're in a mood to watch something super serious, and good cinema then these four movies are definitely for you the first movie that i want to talk about is called four months three weeks two days it's a romanian film it is a very well made film with a good story and good direction i love its narration um it is in romanian and i don't think it's available anywhere what i like about the film is its rawness um there are a few scenes which are very well shot and executed this movie is basically based on two girls uh, out of which one of the girl has to have an abortion it's already been 4 months so she cannot legally have an abortion so she has to go through an illegal method uh, so the movie is basically based on that of how they do it what they go through in that procedure what all they have to give up what all they have how they have to compromise arrange for money blah 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 um now when i'm saying it it might sound like a very fast paced movie where a lot of drama is happening but it is not the energy of the movie is super low and um the shots are good i love how raw it is um i love that they had all, all, like just place the camera somewhere and things were happening there are times when two people are having conversation but the camera is only on one person that also just a profile so it is shot in a very different way i would highly recommend this film to someone who's a filmmaker or is writing um or you know something like that because it is shot in a very different style so i love the style of this film and i highly recommend it it is intense super serious don't expect to have fun while watching this movie and it's called four months three weeks two days the second movie that i want to talk about is a old english movie called phone booth there is also a hindi remake of this movie called phone booth only i guess with sanjay dat in it now this movie is super fun okay it is intense but you will have fun in this movie cuz it's a chase so basically in this movie what happens is there's this person who goes into a phone booth and he gets a call saying that if he gets out of the phone booth his family will be killed so basically now he doesn't know who he's talking to he doesn't know who's questioning him or asking him to do things while he's inside the phone booth and he cannot get out because if he gets steps out his family is going to die so it's a very intense movie based 80% of the movie is based inside a phone booth but 20% obviously chasing the guy who is threatening him is based on that i love the acting in this um it's a very quirky concept i guess and that's why i'm recommending it because i haven't really seen movies in which the concept is like this um the hindi remake of this movie was so bad like it was shit this spoiled the film and i hated it i couldn't see more than like 20 25 minutes it was such a bad remake but phone booth is a fun movie you can watch it with your friends it's intense um you'll have fun there's thrill there's a rush and i highly recommend phone booth the third movie is called pieces of a woman um which is available on netflix um shreya labof is in the movie and the actress of this film has performed outstanding she's also nominated for the academy awards 2021 um she is so good in the film i think she is the only reason why i kept through it the movie is good it's not like a very good film but it is a good film the things that i like about this film and why i'm recommending is first of all the actress is good the first 15 minutes of the movie is a scene where she's delivering a baby and i think that is shot very aesthetically it was fun to watch something like that um so i really liked it um the actress is good her voice in the movie is so amazing um there are some great monologues in the movie which i really liked and um there in the in the almost at the end of the movie there is uh, before the court scene there is a uh, entire one shot that happens in the house which i think is very well shot and the movie is basically about a couple um the wife is like super dominating and takes decisions that she thinks is right they're having a baby and the husband is not doing that well when it comes to business he's a construction worker so the um 
story is about the dynamics between them when they having a baby they they plan to mostly it is the wife's decision to have a baby at home because she does not want to go to the hospital so the midwife when she comes home to deliver the baby she is not the actual midwife who is supposed to come home she is the assistant or like a person who is just taking over at that time so basically when they having a delivery the baby dies so the entire world starts blaming the midwife and there's a case on that so the story is basically the relation between both of them the the what the woman is going through what the midwife is going through how everybody is blaming the midwife but is it actually the midwife's fault does the woman stand up for the midwife or is the couple happy to um blame the midwife for whatever happened or she should have gone to the hospital at the right time or she should have just delivered the baby in the hospital so there's a lot happening in the movie and i don't want to tell you what happens in the end because i really like the end i think it was a well made movie it is intense the acting is great monologues are great it is well shot and it's available on netflix for pieces of women plus the actress is nominated for the oscars so i highly recommend this film as well The fourth movie that I want to talk about is Promising Young Woman which I watched just day before yesterday which is also nominated for the Oscars 2021. Promising Young Woman is a well made movie. Now when you watch a movie like that it is it has a social this movie has a social message. Basically to tell you just about this film what happens is is that there is a there are students from a medical university and in their young age they all get drunk and have sex with a girl where she didn't want to have sex with her and then they record a video and they have fun okay so now there there's a group of three girls out of which the girl who got raped dies okay and the other girl in the group just doesn't give a shit she laughs at the video she's like this drunk girl and then she gets married and moves on with her life but the third girl who is the best friend as well it really hits her and she gets like super obsessed about it that she wants to take revenge and she wants to like um show the world what they did and she wants to make them feel exactly what she went through so she gets obsessed about this and gets a little psycho about it then somehow she gets a link to get back with her college friends from like the medical uni and the story is about how she takes revenge how psychotic she gets about this how obsessed she gets about this and how she wants to make people realize that it is not okay to take advantage of a girl who's drunk you cannot do something with her just because she is not in her senses so the movie is straight up like that how she makes five people realize what they did was wrong the end of the movie is amazing i think i really love the end of the film it was intriguing it is an intense film and high chances that it will win the oscars let's see um but yeah so these are four movies that i highly recommend um four months three weeks two days romanian phone booth english um pieces of a woman english and promising young woman english um let me know what you think about these movies in the comments below and i will see you in my next video